What's up guys, Zach is back bringing you guys some League of Legends. This is a game that I had recorded, I did pretty well on Kog'Maw, as you'll soon find out, but you know, I'm not very good with Kog'Maw, that being said, and I honestly just played him because he was on free and I just wanted to try a new AD carry because why the heck not, right? He's on free. So basically in this game we've got AP Soraka battling it out mid with Lux, we've got Vi and Fiora up top, GP in the jungle for us, and me and Tark bottom with Vayne and Leona. And I'm pretty sure their jungler's Kha'Zix. And as you'll soon find out, <laughs> our AP Soraka likes to give up a few kills here and there. So this starts out just kills 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 and such just minion kills not farming very well this isn't like a high elo game or anything like that I end up beating on her face while Tark stuns her and at that point I just tell my AD or my support to hey just take the kill and he goes up and takes first blood still 200 gold for me on the assist I got no problem with that and now he's just zoning her out while I farm Meanwhile up top, Vi gets a pretty close kill on Fiora there. I'm playing this back with League replays if you can't tell. As of the attempts to reconnect. And just continue my farm. I'll be speeding this stuff up to get to the good stuff because I'm sure you guys don't want to watch 40 minute game or so. However long this ends up being. So you see us just pushing, just pushing. And you see Kazix, we knew he was there. So we're gonna keep going here, farming, farming. That's when Lux starts to really start picking on our guys. Let me pause this here and put it in slow-mo as we have my Tar get initiated on. I turn and initiate onto that Kazix to try and take his red buff because I'm thinking if I can get the kill on him then I could kill the other two as well because I'm doing a lot of damage. So I ignited him and got my last hit off on him. As he's ticking here, he's ticking here, he's gonna get that last tick off. As I push this back up to normal speed. And then I try and alt fire, try and hit both of them to get the red buff ticks as much as possible, as much as possible. So they reinitiate on me. I pull the Leona kill out of that, and then of course with red buff ticks, and then I have my awesome passive and pull three for three for two right there. So not a bad trade off down bottom, and nobody gets the buffs, so that's nice. So now we got a six four where I'm sitting three three and one, one and one Tark, two Ovi, but our GP and Soraka both died once to Lux, leaving her two O, which is a problem because Lux can quickly spiral out of control. speed this up here as we see guys giving us free kills free kills pushing the turret a little bit <laughs> yes GP that is bad I'm a pretty decent league player if I do say so myself I'm sitting in silver because I don't really like to solo queue because you never know what pugs you're gonna get stuck with and that's kind of the problem these days so we're just picking on these guys as Lux is getting more fed on her Soraka, which is the problem that we're having. <laughs> and Tark stun into Kogma Ulti. That's the name of the game, honestly. This is where I'm going to go back here. My build towards the end of the game is going to look something like Blade of the Ruin King, Manamune, well, Muramana, and then I get my boots, of course. Infinity Edge. The Runon's Hurricane and Guardian Angel, of course, for a little, a little defense. Standards, 80 carry-ish build. And of course you hear more, Lux getting fed. She's sitting right now, 6-0. And we initiate on these guys. We go in, we get that easy kill on Leona because she was by herself. And somewhere in here... What does she have right now? She's just, she's only got 80 AP and she's destroying our AP Soraka. And, but that alone should tell you something. We had AP Soraka. Yeah, pretty bad. 
I have a 41,000 ping, not bad. So now, I'm just farming away, farming away, because that's what AD carries do. That's why I don't like to play him that much. So we get beat on, we kill her like it's nothing. I didn't see that Kazix coming in, and he just beats my face in. And that, at that point, I was smashing my flash, and then... When I realized it, I was like, well, my flash is still on a 50 second cooldown, so that sucked a little bit. We pull a 1 for 2 there without even thinking about it, and they kill our ward. And Vi is mad because her ulti doesn't work on Fiora when she ultis. Which is kind of how Fiora's ulti work, it's kind of like an alpha strike, so, yeah. However, I am 6 and 2, so that's kind of nice. GP defends our turret with his ulti as I get pinned to the wall by Vayne and we pretty much just send them packing. No big deal. Nothing spectacular happening up until the middle towards the end of the game, honestly, where everybody just starts to get kills. Oh, there comes Kazix. Oh, that, that was when Lux came in and we all were like, thanks for the MIA, Soraka. And that was at the point where I actually realized that Lux was fed. <laughs> I tabbed out, saw six and three or er, seven and zero. Oh, was like, uh oh, that's no good. So we have two guys down here defending, and our Vi coming in bottom for no reason, leaving Fiora free farm. And that was not really a problem because we were containing her pretty well. And that was where it was like, wow, she does a ton of damage. Vi comes in, trying to contain the damage, beating on our two guys here. GP goes down. Vi kills Kazix there with her ult, because Vi's ult, you know, and such. This, I think, is where we take her out, if I'm not mistaken. I artillery to check the bush, she's not there. She tries to go through, and she pretty much just gets destroyed by the turret there takes a couple. Oh, actually, you know what? I don't think we do kill her here. Nope, because Leona shows up and we get screwed out of this. And I actually end up dying here to a laser beam because she lives here. I try to get her with my <coughs> with my attacks here. And I decide, well, I'm going to run away and I get zapped by a laser. So, that was a pain in my ass. And <laughs> I think she gets out, but she gets she pulls that Fiora over the wall with her, and then Fiora realizes that she's actually in a pickle, gets silenced, stunned, and CC'd into the ground, and dies. This is where they kind of just beat on Thane, honestly, and she goes and commits suicide because the turret's range is pretty far. Now we got me coming back down in here to see if we can reinitiate. Reinitiate? How about reinitiate? Wow. We go in on this Kazix and pretty much just tear him to where he gets out. I know Kazix is still there, so I show him off. He's not going to get out. I'm going to finish him off right there with the last hit. Leona gets away. That's fine. Soraka get pulling an assist with her wish. Guess that's the only way she's getting gold. She's getting beaten on right now. Th that was a ton of damage right there. I remember that going. Wow, she just got destroyed. We continue pushing, pushing bottom. Just trying to get that turret, just whittling it down, whittling it down, whittling it down. And of course, we're just beating on them. Just keep on beating on them. And our GP, this whole game, for some reason, just could not figure it out. Lux fed, let's just keep feeding her. Same with the Soraka. At this point in the game, I'm thinking, wow, we don't really have much of a chance. 13 and 0 Lux. I know I was 7 to 4, but right there where we get that shutdown was when it was like, hey, I just got 500 gold, so <laughs> that was that was a nice pickup for us. This is where we get hung out to dry because we overchase, obviously. Being Kog'Maw, though, I just try and get as much damage off as possible, blow up in that guy's face. But unfortunately, I die, but our Tark is going to get out here with a flash over the wall. And... Vi is going to get out with that heal right there, and Kazix is still sitting over here kind of just chasing, if I recall. Yeah, he's right there. Speed this back up, and our GP giving free kills again, honestly. He's going to get zapped with the laser beam there. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> Mildly displeasing. Yeah, because you fed her. Let's see here. Two and six. Yeah, thanks. One and seven Soraka at that time. 
This was about where I realized, like, hey, I do a lot. And I realized that, hey, I do a lot of damage here. So I came in, started to attack Lux, Vi came in behind, kill her off, whatever. This is where I got a little, like, hey, I should probably kill them. And I didn't. <coughs> but I still pick up the kill here because my awesome passive. And that's 432 gold in my pocket. Puts me up to 8 and 6. And leaves me at about 500 or so gold. Here we got more. More killing. Lux lays me just so much damage. She gets that extra attack off to finish her off. And down goes Tark as well. Now this is the middle of the game where things are kind of getting interesting. Where we're trading off kills. We're down nine kills right now. And... I know how fed I am, so I'm using it to my advantage with my Mana Mune and my Blade of the Ruin King. And it really shows that towards the end of these, because I just get free kills all the time after this. Just free kill after free kill after free kill. I know my my boundaries, I know I'm starting to get the feel for the character, because I don't, I don't actually own Kog'Maw. And it's really starting to pay off for me. Landing... <laughs> None of those ulties, unfortunately. <laughs> we get that turret. Things are looking up for us, and this is where we decide, hey, let's. We should probably go for dragon here. I think about. Is this about where we get dragon? No. Nope. Guy's getting laid out as I went down bottom to push. <laughs> and that's. This is about where I realized, hey, I should probably go back because they're gonna push down mid. So I do pretty much I recall because I don't I didn't know why my team even went in there. As Vi said, she thinks that GP was graves. Right there, do a ton of damage to Lux, push them back, send them away. No pro player, I don't really like to farm the entire game, so it's not a big deal, but I do like to play this game. If any of you guys wanna play, it's cool. You see my tag, there's a kale. We pull dragon. And we all narrowly escape. This is where I was kind of thinking, you know, if I can hit somebody over the wall, I got the range for it. I could definitely tear somebody up. So I was just trying to poke around, see if I could hit somebody, but <coughs> I don't, clearly. So moving right along, we got a fight brewing here mid. And I start to initiate here on Leona and do a ton of damage by hit by that Lux laser. And that puts me down to about a quarter. And this is where... We really tear up their team, but I forget about their Kha'Zix. So I tear up their Fiora right there. She tried to reinitiate on me, and then I saw that Kha'Zix, and I was like, uh-oh, I just need to initiate. And I have my Blade of the Rune King, and I try to get it off, but I don't quite get the heal in time. And my GP fails miserably and dies too. So that's a problem. We lose another couple kills. We're down 28 to 40. Things are kind of looking grim with their two fed guys, but I look back at the screen and I see 12 and 7 Vi, and I've got 10 kills myself. So they've got two or three fed guys, and we've got two guys that are fed. So I'm hoping that we could turn this around, that we can get a good team fight and eliminate them, and hopefully that, that we could just catch them out, and that would be a huge boost for our team. Right now, I've got about enough cash for Neon's Hurricane, so I go back and grab that. <coughs> Almost done with my build there. I've got an Infinity Edge and a Guardian Angel to go. And that was when she just gets absolutely juked by Fiora, and Fiora is fighting her. We come to back her up up top, and we pull Fiora out of it with no problems. Because we knew their, their team was coming up from mid, Lux and the rest of them. This is where we actually catch Lux out of position, very far out of position. Get some good hacks on her, take her down. And we pull a three for none right here because we keep Vi alive. She goes down to the red buff ticks, if I recall. Yeah, she has red buff. And she narrowly escapes. And this is where I pretty much go, yeah, Vayne, if you don't go back, you're dead. You're way overextended. I come over, and she doesn't even try, really, honestly. I just tear her apart. I use the Blade of the Ruin King. She pins me, but it's not even close to enough. And I take her out. <laughs> I apologize, I got a little something in my throat for <coughs> the little coughs and such, but nevertheless, gotta put out a video. So moving on, we got 
Soraka getting killed, which isn't a surprise at this point since she's what, 1 in 11, so honestly, I don't care that she played AP Soraka, honestly, because hey, I get a big heal, so it was like, even if you are bad, you can still heal me for a certain amount. So this is where we get all caught out of position, and I end up having to sit here and defend by myself. She dodges, I tear her to pieces, go back, and we get smashed, honestly. <laughs> we get absolutely smashed. And that was a problem because... They're going to push down our turret here. I, I, let's see if they get the inhibitor, actually. They take out our turret. Oh, GP ults to keep them off, obviously. And it looks like Vi is going to pick up the kill on her. Oh, maybe not. Is she going to ulti? She does catch her. She does hit the ulti on her. And she tries to catch Kha'Zix. With GP's buff, she does get relatively close. It doesn't look like she's going to be able to get her, though. Is she going to? Nope. She's going to get stuck on the turret, it looks like. And down goes Vi. These little mistakes feeding the AP carry, honestly. <coughs> Tark gets caught out by Fiora. Fiora's got a Ravenous Hydra and an Infinity Edge, so she was pretty much going to beat his face in. Lucky for him, he's got a stun, and she goes out. So now we start moving up. And I decide to go back to farming this big minion wave bottom. <coughs> get some more gold for me. I picked up my BF sword for my infinity edge. And I keep mowing down minions because that's what I do. I'm Kog'Maw. <coughs> Pretty easy to farm with. I've got my Mana Mune now, so I'm just spamming my ulti to check bushes. It's no, no problem. Go check to see if they're doing Baron. I heard the Lex ulti there from like a time ago. I don't know when. And this is where we just pretty much catch this Fiora out of position. Just completely out of position. And where she turns around to reinitiate. Reinitiate again. Reinitiate. And I end up taking out <coughs> Kha'Zix. Well, GP ends up getting it with the last hit, but I go down. That was a 3 for 1 exchange, which is definitely no problem at all for us. So we're going to go ahead and push down mid. Because that's what we do. We push down turrets to get to the main base. This, for whatever reason... <laughs> our Tarek decides, hey, I'm just going to take the turret, take it out. Leona, for whatever reason, comes in and just gets torn apart. And Tarek picks up the kill. For whatever reason, our Vi just wants to keep coming, but, you know, she's fed, so I'm not going to tell her she's stupid or anything like that. I guess you have to be aggressive, Vi. And then our team decides, hey, we need to go and push top lane, which is a horrible idea because it's Soraka and Tarek, and they get caught out of position really fast and pretty much just picked off by Fiora. Lux takes up a kill. No, she doesn't. Fiora picks up the kill, but she picks up the assist. Fiora actually goes down, but Tar goes down, and it's a two-for-one exchange, which makes it kind of not worth it. Oh, I guess not. Tark, Tark, nice flash over the wall. Okay, he proved me wrong. I guess I should probably remember these things. I question GP going in there because he's not smart. I guess he wanted to go for the 1v1 versus Vayne, but that didn't happen. I decided to recall because I know they're going to go for our inhibitor. And this is where Tarek was like, hey, don't do anything crazy because we don't want to throw the game. We're down 11 kills. So I just pussed her and poke because I am Kogma. <coughs> Hit a few off. And uh, this is where I say, hey, just kind of stun anybody. And Kazix jumps in and we get nothing on him because he just ultis and gets out. However, Leona comes in and we just pretty much melt her. She goes down. Kha'Zix isn't attacking me and she goes down. Vayne comes in. I take her out. And now that was a three for two exchange. As we close in on Lux here, I'm pretty sure, she, yep, she dodges that with her can't be disabled. And I pick her off with long range ultis. Over and over again. We get held, but it doesn't matter because it's too late. Hit that last ulti. And we end up pulling four for two with Fiora not having been at the fight at all. Which is good for us, bad for them. Not going to complain. We push in here, though. No way we should get that turret. Lux, er, Fiora should definitely be trying to do something. And I just go straight for the turret and pretty much take, take her out in the process. However, we do end up picking up Fiora and the kill, and we go one kill there, another kill there, and we pull this Kha'Zix. 
However, she has her guardian angel here, and we can't do enough damage to her to actually do anything. So we pull a 3 for 2 exchange there, and a turret. This is about where the game starts to get interesting. Things are turning up here. People are dying. We're, they're down a mid turret. I'm 17 and 10. We've, their Lux has got 20 kills and Majayas. Their team's pretty fed. We've got two guys that are pretty fed. And this is about where we're like, hey, all or nothing, we need to just go start a fight. So we go down, we catch Leona, and we can't pick anything up on her because I'm too slow. Th at this point, I've got my Muramana, I've got my full build here. All I need is elixirs, really. This is where I'm kind of just picking on the Fiora, because I know I could take her. <coughs> Kazakhs come back in, I lose my Guardian Angel, and he jumps on me trying to kill me, but we finish him off before I come back up. And here I don't want to get hit by a Lux Laser Beam, so I'm kind of just chilling out. I decided to go up and lifesteal while my team chases. We end up actually peeling... Do we end up peeling Lux here? No, we end up doing nothing here. No, we do pull Lux here. I do remember that part. As I'm still pushing top. And we kill soups, just... Why not? As I push into the base from the top lane. We have a massive minion wave down bottom, but we don't care because we push in this bottom lane. Meanwhile, we're getting picked on. Fiora's getting picking on our Vi and our GP, and they both go down, or at least GP does. I don't think Vi does. We take them out. This is about the point where my Tark was like, "Hey, I don't have Shirelias yet. We should probably leave." I flash. I throw down my slow, but it's definitely not enough because I've only got 375 and he's only got 399 with gap closers and all their slows and everything like that. Vayne flashes at me here, if I recall correctly. No, she gets a red buff hit on me and I just decide, hey, I'm going to die anyway. Turn or burn, right? Nothing happens. It's whatever. <coughs> Do I get her G? Yep, I get her Guardian Angel there. And that's when he picks up his Shirelias. He says, sorry, we would have lived with that if you would have gotten it. I've got 1,600 gold here, but my full bill is already in, so it's not even a big deal. I spawn and probably pick up Elixirs. And Soraka solos Kazakh's top, because AP Soraka kills Kazakh, apparently. <coughs> now, at this point, we kind of catch them, but... Our Vi gets a little too aggressive and ends up getting picked off, and we don't even pick up that Leona, which is a huge problem because we're like, hey, we're kind of screwed here. But right here is when we really get close, but I pick off Vayne with some long-range attacks. Lux is getting hit. We pick her off. A GP attack. And this is about where it's like, hey, we caught them. We're two for one there. Let's push down their base. We come into their base. Knowing full well we have the advantage because I'm fed and I know that I can tear pretty much either of them apart. I tear into Kazix, take him out, back out, tear into Fiora when she comes out of her ult, kill her, take Leona down, and that's an ace, and that is the game. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That was some Kogma getting fed there. Ended up with about 20, 20 or so, and that was the victory for us. Even though we were down 10 kills and super fed enemy team, you know, it just goes to show how a quick catch can throw a game and a really fed cogbot can carry hard. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, favorite the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Appreciate it. See you guys later. Peace.